Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And today we're going to talk about, I love finding what is wrong with these picture pictures to show you what I see and what may work and what may not work and maybe what you would do differently. So I'm going to give you a second to take a look at this picture before, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you probably already have the answer, but what do you see? What would you do different? Well, this is what I would do different. I don't think what they're doing here is going to work. That is not going to work. It's not going to move. So whenever I have a tooth that's that rotated, first of all, it's highly unlikely that bracket's on in the right position. Maybe it is. Maybe they got lucky. So no sense of putting a bracket on in the wrong position. If you can't put it on perfectly, leave it off make space, then put it on when you can is always my opinion. Cause you know, what's going to happen is you're going to forget that you put it on wrong. You would just are. And then the tooth's going to be all crooked anyways. So let's say hypothetically, they were able to put everything on perfectly and they just trying to engage the distal wing of it. Well, it's not going to rotate. There's no way this is locked in. It's not going to move. So this is a complete waste of time here. So again, better to either leave it off, even better to leave it off. But if you really want to put it on, then I would not engage it, bypass it, work your way up the wire sequence until you get into heavy, heavy wires like 1725, 1825 night tie, put in an open coil spring and, or you could do some IPR and some power chain mechanics to make space, um, all around. Um, but the, given the bite, I don't think the open coil spring is probably a great idea. I don't have the other pictures, but given that we're already at an edge to edge bite, um, something probably got to go anyways, <laughs> either you're going to have to do a ton of lower IPR, like a ton, a ton, maybe even the max you can do is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 millimeters. And these are already small teeth. I don't even know if that's going to work given that we need space here. And we've got an underbite edge to edge occlusion. So most likely the best treatment plan is to extract this sucker right here. That's probably given what I'm seeing, that's probably what I would do. So, and I'm guessing we have a slight class three molar relationship on the sides, but I don't know if we do, but anyways, that is my opinion with that. All right. Thank you.